We're going to pray for our nation. We're going to pray for America. We need prayer. We always have needed prayer. Every nation on earth needs prayer. But I love what it says in, in Exodus 33, and, and this is as the children of Israel are headed to the promised land. And, and here's what happened as the children of Israel headed into the promised land. There were, there, were, there were those who were part of that nation who didn't believe what God said about that nation. They chose to believe what was factually true about that nation rather than what God said about that nation. And in every person, in every nation, there are two destinies and you can choose. You can say, I want to be a part of what circumstances say. I want to be a part of what our past experience says. Or you can say, I want to be a part of what God has said. And I want to tell you about this nation, America. There are many things that God has spoken over this nation. And there are many things that our experiences and our circumstances speak about our nation. And we get to choose which destiny we're going to align with and which one we're going to believe God for. And those that believed as the children of Israel were headed to the promise, those that believed in the false promise and what experience and circumstance and looking at themselves, what that said to them, they said, we're not big enough to take this promised land. We're not large enough to, to overcome the enemies that stand against us. We belong in slavery. We're going to die of thirst. Guess what? What they spoke out of their mouth is what happened to them. Those that believed that said, no, we can take this. We can believe God's promise. We can walk into what God says. They experienced the promise of God. And in this moment, you and I, we get to choose what we're going to believe. We get to choose what we're going to speak. We're going to, we get to choose what destiny we're pressing in for. And I want to press in for what God has said about this nation. That God set this nation apart. That God said that, that the founders of this nation said we're going to have one nation under God. Indivisible. With liberty and justice for all. And we can either choose to say, yeah, that aligns with the word of God and that's what we're going to believe. Or we can choose to say, no, our experience is, what I've heard other people say about us is, and those things may all be factually true. Just like the church of Israel said, well, the giants are bigger than us. That was factually true. But there's a higher truth. There's Jesus who is the truth. And I love what, what Moses said to God. So God, we need you to go with us. And if you're not going with us, I don't want to go. Why? Because what's going to set us apart from every other nation if your presence is not here with us? He didn't say, Lord, what's going to set us apart from every other nation if we're not rich, if we're not comfortable, if we're not strong? He said, no. God, the only thing that sets us apart from every other nation is that your presence is with us. And so tonight, what sets us apart, how we're going to pray for this nation, is that God's presence would be here in this nation, that he would walk with us, that he would mark us. Let's have that heart of Moses. Let's pray that prayer of Moses. Say, God, come. Lord, manifest yourself in this nation. Would you stand with me? And let's pray. Heavenly Father, we call upon you today for this nation. Lord God, we're saying what would set us apart from any other nation, Lord God, except your presence is here amongst us. God, we recognize that our salvation is not in a leader. Our salvation is not in a government. Our salvation is not in military power. It's not in economic strength. God, ultimately, our salvation is not even in the laws of the land, but it's in the God who, who rules over every other kingdom being with us. And so we Lord, say, Lord God, come. Lord God, inhabit us as your people in this nation. God, make our heart, our lives, if there's no place else in this nation that welcomes you, our lives, our homes, our church is going to be a place that welcomes your presence. God, may your presence with us set us apart, Lord God, from every other nation. God, come again to your church. Come again to your people. God, we repent for living godless lives. We repent for putting any other idol on the throne above you. We repent for pursuing anything above your presence, Lord God. 
Lord, it's even like Moses said, God, above your, purpose, your promises, I pursue your presence. God, if your presence is not, not going with us, I don't even want to go into the, that promised land. God, may we so treasure your, and so prioritize your presence in our lives. God, every morning when we wake as your people, may our first thought be, God, where are you? God, come and feel. God, I want to be in your presence today. God, I want to walk with you today. God, I want to hear your voice today. God, I want to see your face today. Lord, remove from me anything, Lord, that comes between us and you. God, let us this nation turn back to you. As you said, Lord God, if my people called by my name will humble themselves. Seek my face. Turn from our wicked ways. So we turn from our wicked ways. On behalf of this nation, we cry out to you, Lord God. We recognize, Lord, that you are God over every nation, including this nation. That your kingdom reigns above and beyond, Lord God. And we know, Lord God, that we are only temporary inhabitants of this nation. But God, you said that as long as you're there, pray for that, the peace. Pray for the blessing. So we're praying for the peace of this land. We're praying for the blessing of this land. Until your promise, Lord God, that we'll restore to a new nation, a new kingdom, Lord God. Until that comes to pass, Lord, we're saying, bless this nation that we're a part of, Lord God. Establish your presence in this nation that we're a part of. May our presence, Lord, in this nation make a difference, Lord, because of your presence in our lives. So, Father, we repent of the, the moments when our, our eyes are on something else. When we allow something else to take our focus. God, we turn our focus back to you. May you be lifted high in Jesus' name.